Hello, um, this audio is going to be terrible, but I'm going to film this now. So this is going to be a bookshelf tour. As you can see, I'm kind of a Stephen King freak, so let's get it going. This is my copy of Salem's Lot. These are being visited by my dog. This is my copy of Salem's Lot. I picked this cover up probably like a year ago, two years ago, and I really liked it. And I don't know if this, I'm the only one that feels this way, but every copy of Salem's Lot makes me feel like claustrophobic because the lettering is all really close together. Uh, just weird me things. The Shining, I hate this cover, but it's the first one I got, so I'm chilling with it. I'm really, I really feel fortunate to have this book. The Bachman books, uh, because only a select amount of them were manufactured because Rage is in this book. I think that was about like 20 bucks on, what is it called, thrift books. The Long Walk, which vies for my favorite Stephen King. Night Shift, The Dead Zone, Cujo, uh, Dark Tower One, Gunslinger, Christine. I got this copy for like a dollar on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> my Worn to Shreds, Beat to Hell copy of Pet Cemetery. Uh, I carried this around with me like freshman year all year. Dark Half, Talisman, Thinner. I won't be reading that book for a while for like personal reasons. <laughs> Needful Things. Uh, Gerald's Game, which if you haven't seen that movie and you like disgusting visuals, I recommend it. Dolores Claiborne, which is also one of my favorites. Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Skates. Nightmares and Dreamscapes. The Green Mile. Bag of Bones, uh, Black House, which is connected to, to the Talisman, I believe. Uh, Desperation, Just After Sunset, Full Dark No Stars, On Writing, read it if you haven't, it's so good. Get it from the library though, because it's like really expensive. Goodies Button Box, Joyland, and Blaze by Bachman. These are like my favorites, this is like my favorite shelf. Uh, this is, I think this is a first edition of Carrie. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. Different Seasons, which I love this cover too. So, this is a library copy of Christine that a teacher let me have. Four Past Midnight, Misery, Dolores Claiborne. I wanted these because Kathy Bates plays the main character in both of them. Well, not the, I guess she doesn't play the main character in Misery, but like the most iconic character. Um, and I like love Kathy Bates. This is The Regulators. This, I think, might be my favorite Stephen King cover. I love the cover for Firestarter. Um, another hard copy of Pet Cemetery because I didn't want to absolutely destroy my copy, so I got another one. Skeleton Crew, Dance with Hob, The Tommy Knockers, which is fucking scary, by the way. Uh, everything's eventual. I fear this book <laughs> more than any book on my shelves. Like, I want to read it so bad, but I like, I don't because I'm scared I'm not going to like it. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. I think this is one of the first Stephen King books I ever read. I lost the, the cover for it, but I like the little bee. I think that's really pretty. It's creepy. I don't know how they would adapt it. If it bleeds, it's the newer-ish one. I got it for Christmas. Uh, Revival. A friend gave that one to me. Doomakey. Read Doomakey. It's really good. It's underrated. I recommend Doomakey. Licey Story. Dark Tower 3. Mr. Mercedes, which is another, like, must read. I need to read the two other ones in the Bill Hodges trilogy, because this one, like, grabbed me. And then 11, 22, 63. Getting to the non-Stephen King in my book section. Uh, we have a lot of James Patterson that I have not read. And then The Devil's Knot by Mara Levitt. These books were given to me by someone that I went to a care center with. She heard that I like Stephen King and she was like, do you want some of my books? And I said, sure. This is the only VC, Jesus. Showing my hands on camera really makes me uncomfortable, but whatever. Uh, my Sweet Audrina by VC Andrews. Then I have my Plath selection which is not much. I just gave my Ariel Poems book to a friend for his birthday. So I have her journals at Bell Jar. 
and then I have Mary Oliver's Blue Horses, the essays of Virginia Woolf, um, A Hundred Great Lives. These books are from the 40s. I find these to be really cool and interesting. I got them from like a, a resale shop and I love them. And this is the Winston Dictionary. This is when I got, if you don't have half price books in your area, like find one. If you've never heard of that, please find one. They're amazing. All their books are so cheap. And I've gotten so many of my favorites from there. Uh, I got The Complete Tales of Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, I'm not done with Stephen King, I guess. I have Dreamcatcher, Insomnia, which I read in my care facility. That was, I read like this book and If It Bleeds, Sleeping Beauties, Dr. Sleep, which, hot take, I like Dr. Sleep, like not more than The Shining, but I like the book. <laughs> Bizarre Bad Dreams and Rose Matter. I think this might be the Stephen King book I know the least about. I don't know. I just, I don't know much about it. I heard it's about domestic abuse, but that's about it. I'm going to move down slightly because I'm sitting in a chair for this because I hate heavy breathing into the camera. Um, if you're a film fan and you want to like make movies, which is like what I want to do, read this. This is really good. It can be kind of a slog, but it's not very long. Um, that's where I kind of like left off at it. Cause I, oh shit. What I read of it was really good. Fear and Loathing, but I like the movie cover, so like I'm fine with it, but I do like the original cover better. This book is fucking crazy. Still recommend it though. Uh, this is a Janis Joplin biography. It's good. Uh, I got this as a gift and I've never read it, and I know I should, so, yeah. Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. I, I have another Chuck Palahniuk book, but I'm lending it to a friend, and that's Invisible Monsters, and that one's amazing. Annihilation by Vandermeer. I love this movie, but I cannot get through this book. Like, I one day I want to sit down and commit to it, but I, I literally cannot right now. <laughs> um... I got this for Christmas one year, 50 Drag Queens uh, Who Changed the World. I'm a huge fan of drag. I think it's like such a beautiful art form. But yeah, I'm, I love this book. I'm into it. This is my only manga ever. I, I love Junji Ito so much. I think he's such a creative. I'm going to put this down because my arm's getting like, super tired. But it's... This book about the concept of a spiral and being haunted by an abstract shape and I think that is the most genius fucking thing ever and it's terrifying. I think I read this in eighth grade but it's just such a beautiful like like look at the cover the cover is gorgeous but yeah Uzumaki I've read most of Ido's work as well this book is awesome, Cult Filmmakers. Again, if you like film, I recommend. Unsolved Crimes. This looks like a toddler made the cover, but I like Unsolved Crimes. Uh, it's kind of a funny story by Ned Bazzini. I love Ned Bazzini, but he sadly passed away um, in, I think, 2014, 2013. Uh, this, fun this book is funny. Um, so, I recommend. Um, nobody, I'm sorry, that was just like the voodoo doll I have on the shelf. Nobody hate me, but I like Bukowski. Don't know why. Um, a lot of his poems like kind of get to me. I don't know. I, I like Bukowski. Here's my third to last shelf. I'm gonna start from this side. Egghead by Bo Burnham, Brain Droppings from George Carlin. This is one of my favorite books of all time. Read it. A Palm and Sibley Putty, also by George Carlin. If you have not read Haunting of Hill House, please do yourself the favor. It is so fucking amazing. Shirley Jack- I- I simp for Shirley Jackson so fucking hard. Like, do not- do not come for me. It's so good. I'm not okay with this. I'm also, um, a fan of Chuck Forsman, who made End of the Fucking World. This is the Vonnegut Encyclopedia Thoreau's Wildflowers. The Essex Serpent, which I think has the most beautiful cover ever. Like, look at that. I haven't read it. I got it because of the cover. Um, this is my 
giant hulking Frida thing, book thing, oh my god, book, it's also a biography. The beginning of everything, a girl in said treatment center gave me this book, and she wrote a note in it, and it like almost made me cry, so I'm not going to put that there right now because they don't want to fit. Zodiac by, I think, Robert, yep, Robert Gray Smith. This movie's fantastic, um, but I have not read the book. I've read this book two times, one for class and one because I wanted to read it. Uh, I read it by myself first and then we had to do a project on it and I was like, sick, <laughs> awesome. Even though like that book is horrifying, but it's like beautifully well written. What? Ooh, well written. Catch 22. This is like a super old, this might be one of the oldest books I have. It's got like purple sprayed edges, which I think is really cool. Satan's Child, it's like that weird, 60s like we fear the devil type shit I love it and then the catcher in the rye I got these as gifts too I have really no interest in them but I was like okay like I'll take any book whatever breakfast of champions by Vonnegut read it it's good Hitchhiker's Guide uh haven't read it but I've heard it's fantastic this book one of my friends made a um a bookshelf tour and he had this book this is one of my favorite childhood books ever when I, I probably read this in like the fifth grade for a class and I was horrified this was probably one of my first brushes with horror and I was forever like changed by it I love this book I love Clive Barker um, so this is a worth it read even if you're older now like I am I don't know I just it's good and I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Um, quick fact, I fucking hate classic books. Like, I'm really sorry, but I hate classic books. Every one I've ever read has bored me to tears. Like, I haven't read any of these, which I got these as all as gifts. Like, my mom picked these up from, like, the Goodwill for me. And I was like, thank you very much, but I fucking hate classics. Um, yeah... I, they just bore the shit out of me. I don't know. I'm going over to my second to last shit. Well, I have my Loish art book. I think that's how you say it. Loish. I think I had this problem in my sketchbook tour. Uh, and then the original cartoon tarot cards for Adventure Time. Because I love Adventure Time. And then these are my kind of... If you're going to find shitty books, this is the section you're going to find them. Because I have like some YA shit in here and I don't know why. Uh, this is David Bowie song um thing book it's cool this is one of the first art books i got it is the it's the klimt book love klimt we stand klimt in this household because he was amazing um i wasn't a percy jackson kid but i loved this book and i got it from the school library and then i wanted to buy it because i love mythology my one of my teachers gave me this because he's really into film and he was like, oh, I'll give you this book because you want to be a director, so here, take this. And I was like, cool. I described this book as I knew I was losing my mind when I started understanding it because it's very scary and weird and creepy and I, I like it, but it's also really disturbing. <laughs> I have The Exorcist. Wish William Peter Blatty was alive, because I would dig having a signed copy of The Exorcist. This is Strange Magic. I'm going to try and get a better light view here. Yeah, it's not going to work. My room is just hella dark. But yes, yeah, Useless Magic, not Strange Magic. Lyrics and Poetry by Florence Welch. If you haven't listened to Florence and the Machine, do that. Bob Dylan Chronicles, this is the first book. I have the Twin Peaks secret history dossier thing, which I think is cool. I have I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream by Harlan Ellison. Zardo by Robin Sloan. The Collected Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Jesus, you can't see that. Alice's, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. So, and it's also poems and biography of... Is it William Carroll? Lewis Carroll. I can't read. 
Uh, I have a Stanley Kubrick book, A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. See, this is where we get to my shit. Uh, Fault in Our Stars. I, I am not a fan of Fault in Our Stars, but I got this book from a Goodwill. I'm more a fan of this book, Turtles All the Way Down, also by John Green. He writes teenagers like they're 80 year old men, but I, I enjoy, I enjoy his novels. <laughs> Um, History Decoded, 10 Great Conspiracies. When I was younger, I was, like, heavy into conspiracy theories, um, because I thought it was really interesting and cool, but now I'm, like, there's a lot of weird subtext of anti-Semitism to a lot of, um, conspiracies, and that's really interesting to me, but I also, like, don't want to delve into a, like, a kind of a cultural thing where everything's a bit anti-Semitic, like, that's not a thing for me. Uh, this is the Gravity Falls book, because I'm obsessed with Gravity Falls. Um, I used to be a good mythical morning stan, and I got this, like, when I was, like, 12. <laughs> this, I would used to walk around... <laughs> this is gonna be... Like, I would walk around school, and I had this in my backpack, and I would get it out and read it. And I definitely was an odd one for that. And this is a Stranger Things kind of thing, looking at... Well, it's turned upside down. It's like a view of how they made it and stuff. And then we have, I'm gonna move this huge stack of books over. My art books. If you're wondering why the other art books aren't with the art books, it's because the shelf is too small. Fragments by Audra Auclair. Please follow her. Oh my god, you're doing yourself a favor if you follow her. Um, this is Still Just Kidding by Cassandra Collin. I'm gonna get it out of its packaging. Not packaging, but like there's a cover on it. Sorry. Yeah, it's a really cute book. It's like all comics and stuff. This I shelled out a whole like $50 for because I'm an insane person. It's um, Drawing the Head and Hands and. <sighs> I knew it was gonna happen. Drawing the Head and Hands and Figure Drawing for All It's Worth by Andrew Loomis, who was amazing. This is my Mucha, Mucha book. I don't want to be pretentious, so I'm just going to say Mucha. <laughs> um, Tara McPherson. It's a good book. A Dali book. That was my mom's. Now it's mine. This book I was anticipating so much for my birthday, and I actually ended up getting it. It's um, Someone's in My House by David Lynch. Well, not by David Lynch, but it's a collection of David Lynch paintings and artworks. I think it's hella interesting. I love it. This is my Frida Kahlo book. I got this from my art museum, my city art museum, from my dad. Also for my birthday. I think I got those in the same year. Okay. You know how I said the Klimt one was my first art book? I was uh, wrong. This one was. The Gay 90s by Mark Ryden. I am in love with Mark Ryden's artwork. It's creepy as shit, but I really, really like it. And then the last book on the shelf is The Illustrated World of Tolkien. Uh, the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, were like my favorite movies as a kid, and I thought this book looked like super cool. And it is super cool, so. Well, that would be my bookshelf. I do have Funko Pops, because I got those as gifts. Um, I'm embarrassed, but I got those as gifts, so I keep them. But yep, this is my bookshelf. I apologize for the really shit camera work, but I don't have a camera, I have a phone. So we're gonna have to deal with it. All right, um, more video suggestions in the comments, I guess. See ya, bye.